This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Boom, Pete and Sebastian Show. We're back. Uh, what's going on, bro? I, uh... Well, started right off, bro. Yeah. Went to the doctor uh, yesterday, podiatrist. I've had some swelling in my big toe for quite some time. <laughs> and uh, I went, I'd say, about seven years ago. They said it was arthritic. And they had uh, made some inserts for me, some orthotics. I lost those orthotics the first week I had them. And I never looked back. I just kept plowing forward, thinking, all hey, right, this will go away, you know, same... Same bullshit. The men think uh, I could, you know, stick through it. Well, All right, right. When when your dress shoes don't fit on one of the f- one foot, you gotta go in. This thing, that's how swollen this oh, thing was, oh, right? Man, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. When you reach a certain age, and it's sneakers all the time, baby. <laughs> this is so funny. I gotta say to listeners, we had the fascinating conversation <clears throat> right before we started that we can't talk about, but it's really cool stuff going on at Sebastian's end. And like, you know, amazing stuff. And then we start the cast and you go, I got a swollen toe. <laughs> and uh, I'm still thinking about the other thing, you know? <laughs> but but that, that's what I love about this show, man. There's no no story too big or too small to be discussing. Oh, no. Yeah. The, sm- the smaller ones are, are the best oh, ones. Nice. I mean. Uh, so what are we talking? So- Custom made shoes now to compensate for the toe? Or, 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 or what's the, is it gout? What do we got going on? It's not gout. It's arthritis, bone on bone. Yeah. And the big toe. You got to get so, the shot like I got in my knee, bro. I ain't getting no shot. Bro. Oh, my. Okay. Organic guy. No, no shot, no surgery. I'm going orthotics. And basically, it's an insert that fits into your sneaker or your dress shoe. But let's get down to the exam. All right. Orthotics. Now, you're going into a foot exam. And I'm going down the hallway to the room. I didn't see the doctor. I'm going down the hallway. I see Cristiano Ronaldo, best soccer player in the world, Mm -hmm. with his jersey on the wall, signed, his pitch, you know, really nice put together thing. Nobody's foot means more to them than Cristiano Ronaldo. That's the most valuable foot in the world, probably. Seriously, (laughs) right? So that's his his tool. He needs yeah. that to work. That's it, man. And the uh, Terry Bradshaw's jerseys there, right? Uh, who else is it? Uh, See now, Bradshaw again. I can say right here: the fact that that man is even walking anymore is a com- <laughs> is a compliment <laughs> to your foot guy. Under anyone else's care, Bradshaw would be wheeling himself into every fucking set to talk football on Sunday. Right? I mean, it's a hobble now, but he's still up on two, right? All right, two. Very impressive doctor. <clears throat> so then there's another one. Basketball player. It was a Laker. I, I didn't know who he was or, or whatever. So anyway, I see, yeah. like, these these people coming. So I go, all right. I walk in and sit yeah. down. That's a, you're so funny with that, bro. Like, if, if you just had a picture of Bob on a lawnmower and Bob's below says, uh, I can finally walk my mower instead of driving this thing like I had to before I saw the doc, you'd go... Get me the fuck out of this suburban. <laughs> this <laughs> I need the guy that works on the guy. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what's so funny about you. <laughs> so, so I sit down. Nurse comes in, and uh, it's weird. They only go see a foot doctor. You know, any other doctor, you're taking your clothes off, but. Here you're taking your socks off, right? Yeah, that's that. I've never gotten my foot examined ever. No one's touched oh. my foot except my wife and daughter <laughs> since like '92. <laughs> Swear to God, even the massage I told you I make it a stop at the ankle. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is so. Now, do you get a pedicure before the doctor visit? I, I I'm always pedicured up, but don't matter. It's just it's. <laughs> Oh, you're always ready for a good foot showing. <laughs> you never know when you gotta unveil your foot. You know, what I mean, I do never. <laughs> well, it's Apparently, a, you know, guy, you can't wait they, to flaunt those toes. <laughs> they, 
Hey, you know, I, I, I take my feet like I do my underwear. You know, my my my, uh, my mother always said wear clean underwear in case you get in a car accident. Yeah, you, know, you always got clean underwear on. You know? So, <laughs> I never know, you know. I'm gonna, you know, they're gonna wheel me into the hospital for God forbid yeah. for some. They're looking to look down and they go. I could have had a heart attack, but fucking feet are beautiful. I know. Don't even. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they're going to look at your feet and go, he has no identification on, but he must be important. Look at those toes. The guy does pedicures. He must have money. Take care of him. I'm sure he's got insurance. That's a good point, bro. That's a good oh, point. Oh, man. So oh, man. I, un I unveil the feet. Right. Very proud. Very proud of what, what's going on with the feet right now. Both then, feet or uh, just the one that's the problem? Or does he need to two, compare he's it? Two, he's got to compare it. Got to right. compare it. Huh. So he comes in right away. I've never had this before where the nurse starts the questioning, and then the doctor came in literally in the beginning of the questioning. Normally, you get to the, know, he comes in, he goes, big fan. Now, let me, let me preface this by saying I've... I've really never had this type of um, notoriety in my career uh, where, you know, just I'm noticing more and more people uh, know what I do. And I'm going to take you and the listeners through this. So the doctor, the doctor's a fan. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, is that why he didn't leave me waiting? Like I, there was three people in the waiting room when I got there. Yeah. I filled out the paperwork and they're like right this way and I'm like I thought that was kind of odd that I just I got uh, I got yeah. I got I kind of skipped the line a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rarefied air, bro. Rarefied air. Like, next time I go to Disney World with my family, it's going to be with you and your family. <laughs> Uh, you know, but they make the excuse, which is an arguable excuse, that they're like, if I can't leave that particular client out in the lobby because other people are then going to go maybe ask for his autograph and pictures. And, you know, so let's get him through to avoid no, that. No one will be in the lobby. No. <laughs> no one will be in the lobby. Right? <laughs> I, I was sitting there for, for six minutes filling out the paperwork. No, no one said shit. So. I walk in. He comes right. in, big fan. He's all oh, thanks a lot. That's not anything. Goes, well, what's the problem? Is that fucking right? Big toe is inflamed, and and he's playing around with the toe. He's like, yeah, I should be able to bend it in the ninety degree angle. I can't even get this thing. You know, he, he, I, he goes, I got to take some X rays. So I'm in there, and uh, I had like a little like fungus underneath the second toe, right? Just. <laughs> Put my coffee down the rest of the show. <laughs> oh, bro. A tad, bro. Tad. tad. Fungus is non bathing day. What is. No, no, no. Yeah. no, no, no. Let's, let's I know see. that the spray, antiseptic spray. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was, you know, just didn't, the nail didn't look right. And he goes, it's not fungus. He goes, you run? I said, yeah. Oh. He goes, your, your foot is hitting up against the shoe. Is the way your foot is. He goes, you're pronated and you're flat footed and this, you know, it, it's bang. I said, okay. But he gave me some clear shit to put on it that clears that up, right? I just want to get the feet top, top notch, yeah. 100%. You no, know, hey, listen, especially if someone's going to be doing pedicures, you know, you don't want to make it awkward for everybody with yeah, right? You don't want to take your foot off and go, and then and the, 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 the pedicurist is like, I'm Next, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Like as it is now, when you leave, she's gonna go. Oh God, his the toes with nails were so much whiter than last time. Thank God, he must be using something. He must have went to Ronaldo's gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, uh, he goes. I, I just need the X-rays to see kind of what's going on. I go. Let me ask you something. This is out of bounds a little bit, but I, I gotta ask you. I go. You know what you do for a living? You're seeing people's feet, right? I said, you ever see somebody that comes in here and, and 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 you imagine before they even take their shoe off, you imagine what the foot like looks like? Like, do you do you go, oh yeah, that guy's got long toes. He's gotta have long toes, right? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or, yeah the guy, <laughs> <laughs> or like Yeah, like I've been to the seven eleven where I've seen some boots where I'm like, I'd hate to beat a woman that's gotta lay next to what's underneath <laughs> that boot tonight. <laughs> oh. <You're> right. <sighs> 
<laughs> I think some of us all do kind of imagine what the person's foot might look like. And I said, do you, are you ever surprised if the sock comes off and you go, wow, like in your head, you go, wow, I didn't, f this guy's got stubs or, 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 or whatever. Oh, yeah. And he starts laughing. He goes, I do, I do that. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, yeah. and I go to him, I go, do my feet match what you thought they were going to look like? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, bro. What do you say? Th this, is, this is like, with me and you going into these places, they don't get this th from th anybody else. That's like... <laughs> I mean, that's like, I mean, quite, that's Larry David esque right there, bro. That's Larry <laughs> David esque. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the guy, the guy sees patient after patient, and, and the patient's like, oh, I got a, my art shirts. And it's, I'm coming in with questions. This guy, like, uh, takes him off, takes him off his, like, pattern of thinking, right? So he, he laughs. He didn't really answer the question, which suggested that my feet didn't match my, my personality, right? So, I go, uh, yeah, you uh, you do Ronaldo? He goes, uh, no. I go, no. The autograph picture of him, uh, <laughs> the frame, right, and the Bradshaw. He goes, oh no, no, that's the other doctor's personal co uh, autograph collection. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> 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 this is this is a Seinfeld episode. I hate to be that you know, guy who says that cheesy line, but it is, man. Right? You think you think I'm Ronaldo like just <laughs> slid out the back door, <laughs> skipping? I go, wait a minute. Ronaldo's never been in here. No, what, 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 no, he's never been in here. I'm saying, I, uh, I thought you you were the doctor to, to Ronaldo. I, I, got, I, got, I got to go get a second opinion now. That's it. No, no Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> Nothing. No Laker. Nobody. Nobody. No wonder why he was freaking the, guy, the fuck out when you walked in. He has. He's never had a celebrity in there. I'll tell you who's going to be on the wall next week, though. <laughs> and then I, I look past. I look past his shoulder and I see the guy on the lawnmower behind him. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised the other doctor didn't bop in and ask to add you to his autograph collection. <laughs> oh my! Oh my did, God! I, did, did you tell him you like, hey, everybody out there <laughs> thinks that you're doing all their feet? <laughs> Isn't that false advertising? Take this that, shit off that, the wall, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh. Now, but I, it brings me up a question, though. <laughs> Moving forward. If you get asked, like, can I get a headshot for my office wall? Um, I, would you allow that, or would you be like, I don't need people to know I was in a foot doctor or I was in an eye doctor? Yeah, no, no. Listen, I, I, I'd have to say, listen, if it's for your own personal office, fine, but don't be hanging it up here. I don't want like people to be coming in, going, going. What does he got? What kind of foot problem does he got that he's the, at the podiatrist? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Next time they come to your show, they're gonna go, "Honey, see, I, you could see him. You could see him hobble a little <laughs> bit. I could see where. That's why he was there." Oh, oh so. man! So I get the X-rays. Yeah. And then I'm hanging out with Lana last night in the living room, and uh, I get a text about nine nine o'clock, and he goes, uh, "I I got the." I got the x-rays back. Can I send them to you? Now I'm thinking, that's it. I need to, I need to get the foot amputated. I mean, 9 o'clock? Right, you, you need to get a new doctor. I mean, this guy went from, we thought he was doing Ronaldo, to fan, fan stalking now. I mean, he's literally in the kitchen with his wife. You think, you think I can call him now? I mean, they are x-rays, and the wife's like, you should, you should. I mean, I bet he'd want to know. Anyone would want to know at any time. Okay, I'll call him. I'll call him. <laughs> Dude, that's a, that's a 9 a.m. call, Doc. That's a 9 a.m. call. I got to disagree, man. Oh, that's because you're a hypochondriac. What do you need to know about your toe that can't wait till 9 a.m.? Honestly. I just thought it was great customer service. Oh, he no. got he... Yeah, Come on, guy. It's star service. You're gonna well. You're gonna find he was concerned that 
<laughs> yeah, he was concerned. There's probably a guy in there earlier that did need an amputation on a on a diabetic toe that didn't make it, and uh, that guy ain't getting no 9 p.m. phone call. <laughs> but he was concerned about your fungus. <laughs> Jeez. You know as well as I do. But anyway, listen, all right, what was the listen, call? He was concerned. Right. He was bone on bone. Yeah. And he was like, I am surprised you're not in more pain than you are. I mean, I'm not, not in really any pain. You know, I'm still running. I'm still doing active stuff. But I, he goes, you should, you should be, you know, in, in pain based on the x-rays. All right, that's, that makes you feel good, right? You're like, man. But here, here's my question. I'm like. I hear that and I go, when's it coming? <laughs> like, if I should be in pain right. now, it's going to happen. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Like, you think you're kicking the can down. It's coming any second. I don't think the pain has kicked in yet. I all mean, right, it's, all right. well, it's, it's there. But now I'm, I'm conscious of the toe now. Like, right yeah. now, I feel the toe. Because, um, you know, like, in my head now, I go, because it's bone on bone. I'm I'm already honed in on the toe. So my concern is I'm going to be driving one day and then it's going to click in and go, and I'm going to go, oh, yeah, that's uh, what he's talking uh, about. Uh, there it is. Oh, yeah. So, so I'd I rather have the pain now than yeah. wait for it later. Right? I hear you. Right? Because, you know, now's a good time. I'm home. I'm off the road. You know, let's, from a convenience standpoint, I'd rather be buckled with this thing now. I hear you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be on stage and all of a sudden, holy shit. Shit, what's the right? I, I gotta go through the pain uh, for half of the set. So I'm going to get these orthotics <laughs> next next week, right, man. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. 48 year, years old, and I'm wearing uh, you know orthopedic shoes already. It, 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 it's it's setting in. Right. Age is setting in. Well, like, what's the long term solution if uh, you know? This don't work. This basically is not gonna. It's not gonna like spin it back. It's basically gonna prevent it from getting any worse. But if it does get worse, the next step is surgery. Are you getting these shoes online? You're not going into one of those old people stores, right? No, no. He he custom makes the oh, the oh, orthotic. Oh, oh, all right. You gotta go back. <laughs> no. <laughs> these aren't the kind of shoes I see Grandpa shopping for. Uh, on Sunday? Okay. Well, listen, um, I don't understand, though, why you're so against getting the shot. Did they mention the shot? If you're going to do surgery, you do the shot once a year, you tighten yourself up. It It is a Band-Aid. It's a short-term solution to a long-term problem. And the more shots you get, the degenerates the cartilage in there. All right. Well, I'll let you know when my Band-Aid falls off. <laughs> <laughs> it's feeling it. Yeah. You ever, you, ever, you ever get something medically and you feel great, but then someone tells you that it might not be a good idea, but now you got to defend your decision. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Hey, we've been doing that with the vaccine. We're all doing that left and right, right? But no, totally, you know, when you get surgery and someone's like, I'd never go under the knife, you know, like, like my brother says that. And I'm like, right. And now you're, you're, you're hobbling during this conversation and I'm gliding, baby, gliding. I had three things I wanted to get done. My hip, my knee. And at the time I had gotten a tooth pulled and I was waiting to get the, uh, the, you know, the, he was making the fake one. So pandemic hits, right? All this shit happens. I, I I was a mess. I just wanted all this stuff done, you know? So last week, I finally got my new tooth in. My hip feels Jeez. great. My knee feels great. I am good to go, bro. And, and when he put my tooth in, same thing like you were saying about how now you're thinking about your toe. He puts the tooth in and he goes, it should be tight, but you shouldn't. it shouldn't feel like it's moving your other teeth. Does it feel like it's moving your other teeth? I go, Doc, I, I, I got... I mean, I don't know what that would feel like. I got to be honest with you. I mean, I don't, it feels tight. I don't know if it's moving my other teeth. Now, every minute I'm driving in the car, I feel like it's pushing my front teeth forward. So I'm looking in my, my mirror going, am I getting buck teeth? Am I getting buck teeth? Right? <laughs> Whereas if he didn't say that, I would think everything's fine. You got in my head. You're getting in my head. You know, I got to tell you, if my dentist says that to me, 
I'm like, you didn't put it in right. Like, like it, it's it'd be like someone screwing on the tire and then telling you. If you're driving and you feel it wobbling, let me know. Uh, right. Why? Right. You, why? You didn't put it on right? Well, to your point, bro, He, you know, it screws in. And this guy's a high-tech dentist. I really like him. They make the teeth on location, too. But he screws it in, and he goes, you can chew on it and do everything you would on it. He goes, but I'm not going to tighten it, tighten it till next week. I want you to feel it out for... It's like you're saying, you're not tightening the tire because you're pretty confident it's going to fucking fall off through, right? <laughs> it's going to pop or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh I don't do a half, I don't do a half joke, feel you out, and come back next weekend and hit you with the punchline, right? <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like your other teeth are getting moved? What? Oh, yeah, you know, like that happened last Wednesday, that thing that never happened? <laughs> Do you think that's happening? That's your job, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh, so, so that's that. So you're at 100%. You're operating at an optimal level over there. The hip, the oh. knee, the teeth, everything is working. Oh, and, uh, full efficiency. Man, I, full efficiency. I'm, man, I'm jealous, man. I got to get to that point myself. I, I went to the dentist. I tell you, I went to a new dentist, and uh, and I opened my mouth, and I, I got fillings from cavities from late 70s early oh, 80s yeah. right oh god yeah i mean the cereal we ate i can't believe i got any originals left in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> so i open my mouth and the and the dentist goes whoa i go whoa whoa she goes you still got you still got silver do, do, do you have silver? I, I, do you have I thought i did i don't know i mean did i <laughs> <laughs> Your teeth, your cavities are so old. When they, when the dentist was putting them in, Karen Carpenter was playing on the radio, <laughs> <laughs> and it was like in the top twenty. It wasn't even like an oldie station. <laughs> <laughs> so I go. <clears throat> she goes. Uh, let me let me take a look. And she looks around. And she goes, Yeah, um, I would I would replace these. Silver cat, yeah. yeah. I go, why? She goes, What happens is they start to crack and you could get bacteria in your teeth, and cavity could form underneath the actual cavity. So, right. and for aesthetically speaking, we do white now, it's it's a it, it's all white. So, you're, you when you open your mouth in oh. half, you see all white instead oh. of <laughs> instead of a steel mill. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Now that I think about it, I know I got mine all white. Now I know she's talking about not a steel mill. Oh, shit. Well, I think, you know, the first part with the bacteria, because I was ready to blow that part off, because I'm like, honey, if that hasn't happened since 1975, I ain't worried about it. But then when she hits you with the, uh, we make them white now. <laughs> You're like, I got your message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so did you get that done, bro? So I'm going in uh, and I'm I'm getting that taken care of within the next two months. I'm you know, I I, I I let me ask you this. They said it takes so there's four there's four different, you know, quadrants, right? Yeah. She's like, you could come in, do one, come back, do another one, four different times, or we could do one side. One day and the other side the next day. I said, well, how long is the procedure? She's like, if you do just the one quadrant, it's an hour. Obviously, you do two, it's two hours. So if you came in two hours one side, two hours the next side, would you do bang it out in two days or four days? Uh, I'd be like, let's do one day four hours. Can we do that <laughs> option? <I'm laughs> one day four hours? Yeah. No, what? It, I know what you're one? saying. I'm adding a third option. I'm saying not half, uh, not half, just half lunch other half. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? 
lunch. <laughs> well, I can't keep her on her feet too long. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I don't like getting numbed. I hate it. It ruins my whole day. So let's just numb the whole shit all day. I'll sit here all day. We do it all. And then send me home like a puddle. I go to bed next day. I'm all white and tight. Right. Uh, oh, so you, you knock it out during the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You, you want to just stay there the whole day. Yeah. They, well, you they said you. you got four hours, four quads, an hour a quad, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm saying, like, two quads, take a break, do the other two quads. And she's oh, giving, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it's like you're going to do something two hours later after I leave. Just do me again. Is it, yeah, yeah. is it is she like it's really painful and I can't do that to you? Well, it's it's like the novocaine, and I don't like my mouth being open for that long. You know, I get like after a while, it's like all right, already. What are we gonna do? <laughs> like, know. like if they told me, listen, we put you under, right, and we we crank your mouth open with a crane, and we just work on it. IV, you, IV in your arm to keep you hydrated. Yeah, yeah whatever it is, just it knock me out. I wake up. The silver's gone, and I'm white. I go home, and we're 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 good to go. Oh man! I so agree. I don't know. I don't know. I got I got I got to like, yeah, I got to test the options there. So I'm trying to get the to Pete Corielli level here, 100 percent with the toe and the teeth. Well, I mean, um, listen, you, you you're like if if we're a house, I'm I'm renovated, but you you decided to do the basement in the attic. I mean, <laughs> I, you're doing things I wouldn't do. I got to check after the show. I would imagine I have a couple of grays up there, you know, the old kind, like, you know. So, but don't you ever have a moment where you're going, you know, Lana, like, look at where I'm at. Look at what I've done. Like, nobody's ever said, you know, you'd go places, kid, if you didn't have silver fillings. Like, fuck it. Like, when no, do you... I, it's, that, it's not about anybody else. It's about, like, preventative. Right right oh, now, it's about preventative. Heavy, like, heavy. I want to get rid I want to get rid of this because I don't want to have a cavity and the, the leakage. And the, get right. rid of it. If it's a problem, get rid of it. I'm going to go a cardiologist in a couple of weeks because, you know, I have uh, some some blockage in the uh, in the widow maker. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's a different story. So yeah. I want to I want to do preventative on that. I'm just trying to stay alive to see my kids graduate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, man. I just want to stay alive long enough to look my daughter's <clears throat> husband in the eyes and say, don't cheat on her ever, you piece <laughs> of sh Don't ever cheat on her. I will strike lightning down on you from above. And then I can die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you treat her like oh, now, oh, okay. So, well, hold on. Now, with the teeth, by the way, you know, guess what my tooth is made out of? Like, it's what fake teeth are made out of, do you know? No. I asked him. Ceramic, right? Mm -hmm. Now, my I didn't ask him this. My question is, can I, like... Can that never get a cavity? Like, can I like, can I like cover it in chocolate and wake up in the next morning for a week and nothing, just wash it? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think that's ever like. And you say ceramic, and I'm wondering when they started filling teeth, and they said, "Ah, hey, the teeth are white. We should get maybe a ceramic to match." Why did they go with the silver? That, 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 like. Why wasn't it ceramic to begin with? No, no, my fake tooth is ceramic. Oh, your fake yeah, tooth. Yeah, the okay, implant. I thought it was a fake. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Yeah, I don't think that thing's going anywhere. I think that's that's in and that that's what so I cavity is not I get a cavity. Right. So I said to the dentist once years ago when I got my first implant, I go, Well, we're adults, if we can afford it and whatever, I go, why why wouldn't we just get get them all taken out and all implants? And, yeah. and and he goes, oh God, Jesus, you wouldn't want to do that, and like he didn't even want to talk about it. And I'm like, why not? Then it's done. It's done. I don't even need toothpaste. That just hose them, right? Like, well, here's a question for you: If that's made out of ceramic, the, the, yeah. what are teeth made out of? That's a that's a great question, bro. That's a great. I mean, you, like, what what's the consistency of a tooth? Like, what's the what is it? Um, cartilage. I, no, I don't know. I don't, but if you had, if you had, if let me ask you this: if you had a like a big a bucket, a bucket of human teeth, all cleaned and shined, 
Is that is that worth money? Like uh, like if I had a bucket of uh, ivory tusks from a horn, is is human teeth worth any money? You think? I I don't think so. I don't, I don't think if they were, they'd be fucking killing people and taking their teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking junkies would be ripping their own teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we oh, we'd be yeah. poached, bro. We you, we oh, would be poached. Man. Oh, yeah, we'd be we'd be killed on the spot. I mean, you don't really get <clears throat> you don't. I've never heard a, a podcast talk about what teeth are made out. I don't know. You're right, <laughs> man. Just, just I wonder. Don't get that. <laughs> There's such a oh god. So <laughs> so listen, I want to touch base with you uh, since we talked about the cast T-shirts. Did, yeah. did we get? Did we get any more orders? Oh God, it's, it's out of control. It's out of control. I wrote down. I should. I wrote down some some things I wanted to share to you that people have asked. I'm like, uh, oh, so like I'm getting requests. Like like one per. This is just some of the stuff. All right, these are t-shirts. Doing a family operation, stuffing these things like crazy. I got to cap it. I think I got to stop it for a little while. I'm going nuts here. But one lady asks, can you? Text, tell me, uh, text me the information on what the fabric is. Well, another guy, this is, I've gotten orders asked me why I'm not shipping to Germany. Can I ship to <laughs> Australia? One guy's in Iran. He wants the shirt. He wants the shirt in Iran. Bro, the show is unbelievable. I appreciate all that. And the Canadians, I love you Canadians. I love all you foreigners, but I can't ship foreign. I'm not an export business. I don't even know how to do that. I try to do it on the computer with that. And he's like, yeah, this is not going to, you know. That. If I tried to mail something from Fredonia to Iran, the Fredonia police will knock on my door going, what are you shipping to Iran? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be in the news. It'd be front page of the Observer. Pete Corielli shipped the package to Iran. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, do I have green for St. Pat's Day? By the way, bro, I, I've been biting my tongue the whole show. I don't know about that shirt you're wearing, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to be polite about it, but I think you don't even know either. You've been opening it up to show chest, and you've been tucking it in like a priest in the summertime. I don't know what. You, listen, let's get rid of that. Take that out of the rotation, guys. <laughs> it's not even in the. This oh. was in the back of the closet. You ever, you ever oh. go in there? <laughs> <laughs> You ever, especially now, you know, coming out of the pandemic, I haven't worn anything with a button in fifteen months. So. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I go I I, I said to myself like, I said let, let me go in the back and see what's in the back of the back of the closet. And yeah. I pulled out this relic. Oh, <laughs> Now you remember why it was back there. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, as soon as you came on the show, I was like, is he golfing after this? What the fuck is going on with that? Nah, I figured let me uh, brighten it up with a little lime. <laughs> you don't hear that too much. Let me brighten it up with some lime. <laughs> Actually, bro, I should be into that shirt because I got my DNA results. I was, I was a little hesitant to share this with you. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it, but I'm going to tell you. 40% Northern Ireland. 40%. Oh, that's bro, that's I, a lot. I don't even think that makes you Italian anymore. Oh, no, I'm only <laughs> I'm only 48% and it's Southern Italy from Southern Italy, Naples. That's why I love pizza. Oh, my God, bro. You're not even 50%. What's the other two? Uh Scotland. Ooh. And you ready? You ready for this? <laughs> Somewhere along the line, someone in my family banged a Norwegian because I got I got Norway in me. That's that's. I said to Jackie, that's why I crush on the Norwegian cruise ships. I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know when that mistake happened, but somebody in my family. No, but seriously, I'm I'm a mutt, bro. But. You know, it explains my my affinity for uh, booze and stuff. You know, the Irish part of me and the hot temper, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Well, listen. Now, when people ask you what nationality are you, do you go, I'm half Irish, half Italian? No. Luckily, most people go, so you're Italian, Pete. And I just go, yeah. <laughs> you know, like they don't, <laughs> they don't dissect. But if they do, you know. But I'm, listen, man, I've always been proud of my Irish side. I think it's... it's uh, it gives me a little bit of like, um, 
I don't know, man. A little yeah, bit. I, I think you listen. I, I think you're trying to really um, make more. Of this than this. You, you, can we just? You can't compete with the Italians. I can't. <laughs> just, I can't. But bro, last time I said anything like this, I got emails from people that are Irish, literally telling me to go fuck myself. If you yeah, don't, I know. If I, you don't I, care I, about Ireland, and and I do, so I. <laughs> once again. This is great comedy fodder. <laughs> we take a we take a small thing and we blow it up. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey, for the Irish, I got green. I got green on today. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Look, even people in Ireland, when you go on vacation, you go to Italy. You know? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't so. Oh, so God. that's that. I thought that was it. And then there's like people that did the DNA. I know you did it. That did the DNA that they say these people might be a match to you. They might be family. And you can. I try to click on them, but like nobody's interested in knowing if they're related to me. I can't get oh. one person to hit me back with like a. Uh, oh, yeah. you're that guy? You're, you're like, oh, I you're. you're Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, You're the guy that you, you, you I open up my email box and it's hey, we might re relate <laughs> <Do it." laughs> But not because we have the same last name. I told you the famous spear fishing guy off the coast of Florida named Pete Corielli. I've never bothered him once, man. But <laughs> this is DNA. This is positive. This is scientific. I mean, I'm hoping to be in the I was somewhere in Northern Ireland meeting my Ireland brothers going, we've been fighting the fight for our independence. And I'm like, I hear you, man. You know, like, wouldn't that be cool? No? No one, no uh, one's interested. No one's interested. Yeah, no, no one's interested in that shit. No, one, no one's going to email you yeah. back going, yeah, I think we should meet for a cup of coffee and talk yeah. about our great grandfather. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no bites, no bites. <laughs> oh, so, um, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. What do you got? What do you got? Um, uh, so I wanted to share this with you. I forgot to tell you. And listen, folks, this is not a sad thing. It's just it's a story and it's a cast. So last when Thursday, we had my dad's, you know, memorial oh, yeah, slash funeral. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a beautiful ceremony. Everything was great. I just got a couple couple of funny things I want to share. Well, one was funny I want to share with you. So we go to sit down now. We're in the church, and it's about to start. And my sister and brother are both going to read, and later on, I'm going to speak like later on. Uh, And as soon as we sit down, now Jackie's not, I sit with my mom, so she's in a pew like behind me. As soon as we sit down, you know, obviously you're sad. And I go to wipe my eye, right, bro? Now, I know you don't wear contacts, but I know a lot of listeners do. I wipe my eye and my lens goes up into my eyelid. I mean, this happens like twice a year, twice a year. And here I am. And as soon as it went up, my left eye, I can't see as good. So now I, I can't see. And my sister's, mm. sister's about to walk up, and she's starting to speak. And I'm like, I, I, I'm missing my dad's funeral. I can't even see at my dad's funeral. So what you do with your fingers <laughs> is you try to massage the contact lens down. I'm yeah. in the front pew. I'm the son of the deceased. So I'm kind of like <laughs> doing a light... <laughs> <laughs> a light <laughs> massage, and I feel like half the people are like, oh, he's so upset he can't even look up, and 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 then my I miss my whole sister's thing. I can hear it, I can't see it. I'm freaking out, you know. And I'm like, when I go to speak, if I can't see, I need to see faces, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, all right, just leave it, leave it, leave it. It will fall out on its own. And I'm waiting for like ten minutes, and I'm squinting, and I'm, and finally I feel it kind of fall, and no one's looking, and it's it's in my hand now. I'm in the front pew, in the front row. Right up there. Now my brother's speaking. I do I do this, bro. <laughs> I don't, but, I, but I've had contact so long. I pop it in so fast. I sit back. And this is how long I've been married, man. I turn around to, to make eye contact with Jackie. Nobody else knows what's going on. She looks right at I'm like, my wife will know. She looks right at me and just lips the words, contact. You know? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And then she goes, uh, you got it? And I go, I got it. And she's like, all right. So, and then um, I wanted to tell you, we, du- we, uh, we, dumped, we dumped some ashes, my, Jackie and I, right? My mom had the funeral party. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We're skipping over. Did you pepper some humor into the speech? How would you work this? Well, I did it down by the burial site. So the, oh, you didn't do it in the... Th- no. Okay, so, so the priest said a few things, and then I was going to get up and speak. 
Bro, I was more nervous than doing my first Tonight Show set. You know, wow. and I had, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to make it some big thing where I'm trying to blow everybody away. And you also know that being a comic, you feel like some of them are wondering, oh, when the, when he's going to do if something clever or something, you know? So I talked it out with Jack and I had a general idea what I wanted to do. Now, I got a question for you. We're all sitting in our chairs in front of where my dad's going to be lowered in. The priest says some nice words. Now I'm going to go around and speak. It's sunny as heck, beautiful day. We're all in shades. When you're walking around to stand in front and face the mourners to give a eulogy at the burial site on a sunny day, do you keep the shades on or do you take the shades off? What a question. And I got to tell you, you revert back to Stallone. <laughs> What? Well, you got an example in a movie? In Rocky Three, right? Stallone, one of my favorite scenes. When he goes to put Mickey, he he was actually in a mausoleum, you know. We, oh, we, yeah, yeah, we were yeah. going to wall. Stallone added shades on inside <sighs> in the mausoleum. Holy <sighs> fuck. Bro, I think someone passes away. The whole day you're wearing shades. The- <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. In the church, outside, in the car. The whole- you put them on as soon as you step out of the house. You take them off before bed. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I did keep mine on, so I'm so psyched. That- oh, okay. I kept them on, though, because I was like, I can't be squinting through this thing, man. I got to. So, and it's so funny, you know, how like, uh, you know, like if, if you, I don't know, you're acting more to me, but when you go to act, if you're going to do something where you're supposed to be trying not to cry, like I've done that where you're like, <sighs> it was a yeah, great, yeah. you know, it's so different than when you're actually doing that. Like when you're really trying not to cry, because in my head, I'm like, oh, so this is how you, re- how it really feels. You know, like, <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I wasn't even close when I was trying to, you know, because <laughs> you know? I've never really felt that before. So sad. I can't get a sentence out. Come on, come on, come on. That never happened to me before, but now it happens. You're like, oh, this is, <sighs> yeah, this, this is, you know, this is nothing like the audition I did <laughs> in 2005. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. On that audition, I just looked at the side going, should I wait a little longer? Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my so, God. But, oh. And, uh, and I had a pause where I almost forgot what I was going to say, and then I gathered myself, and it went great, and I got a laugh early on. It's even in that moment, you know. It, it makes you comfortable, right? So I get a laugh, and the priest is right next to me. And the next thing I was going to tell them was my dad, a fun, I was saying that the, my dad called something white trash, and he really said, this is goddamn white trash we're doing right here. It's a funny story. And I'm like, I should say the goddamn part, and then I should tap the priest and go, sorry, Father, but I had to keep it how it was, you know? And I did, and I go, my father was like, this is white trash. And it still got a laugh, but what oh, made me laugh, bro. what made me laugh, though, bro, is the fact that I'm doing my dad's eulogy, and I'm working the crowd, <laughs> thinking about, should I do a side thing with the priest now? I'll keep it here, you know? I mean, that's like our instinct, you know what I'm saying? And I knew, and in my head, I'm going, if I do that and tap him on the shoulder and apologize for saying, God damn, I'll kill. That's what was oh, going on my head. Yeah, bro. They, they, I, they, they would have to, they would have to take a fucking intermission. <laughs> but they, then I thought it's hot. Do I want to kill that much? Is it appropriate to kill that? <laughs> much? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I mean, my uh, <laughs> oh my god, bro. It, uh, that's that's uh, good. That's, that that would have been great if you would have pulled that off. Yeah, you know. And then my yeah. So it, and then that went really well though. And I even opened up with, "I know it's hot, and I'll keep this brief." I kind of like that when you let the audience know what to expect from a time standpoint. Oh yeah, that's that's a class move when you go, when you recognize the conditions, yeah. right? And then you give then you give them a little taste. Listen, I ain't gonna be up here balling for thirty eight minutes. <laughs> this is, 
This is gonna. There's, 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 there's no fat on the bone in this speech, right? <laughs> right, bro. And I feel like that makes them go, all right, then I'll give you my full attention because it <laughs> sounds like you're only asking for about ten minutes of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. So I gotta tell you. So we, we, we did our thing where we're gonna put some of the ashes out on the golf course. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it was me and Jackie. I asked Jackie to do it with me, you know, and. uh the place left some for my my mom, and my mom thought it was a great idea, too. And she's like, they left you some. So, you know, <clears throat> we went to do it, and we did it at nighttime because you're not allowed to do it there. And we get to the golf course. Sadie's already sleeping. My mom's inside. It's got about like 10 o'clock at night. This is one spot where my dad loved, one hole he loved to tee off from. So I go to Jackie. And again, folks, my dad is in a better place now. He's in not a better place, but, you know, this isn't sad. I'm telling a story. And I yeah, don't, yeah. 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 So uh, I go, we go to dump the ashes, and I go, let's just do a little first to see, like, how it plays out, you know? Like, I, we don't know what. So we go to do it, and it's just sitting right on the green. It ain't going nowhere. Like, I thought it would do a dissolve. So now <laughs> we're, we're down on our hands and knees. We're rubbing it in with our fingers so that they won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay. I'm, 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 <laughs> is this out? No, this is great. This is great. It's like you th you thought it was gonna be like fertilizer. It yeah, just, it just, I thought it, just it was like dewy in the air. So I thought it would just kind of dissolve into the grass, and my dad will be. It just sat on it like uh, frosting, like putting powdered sugar on a cake, and it's just sitting. <laughs> It's all sitting there. <laughs> Our guys are going to be teeing off at 5.30 in the morning going, what the, what, what so the fuck ashes? is that? <laughs> is, is that an anthill? <laughs> <laughs> so we're down on our hands and knees doing a finger rub, but we only dump a little as a test, you know? So oh, then God. we go, I go, all right, let's go to the ledge, to the edge, right where there's like a drop off the deep grass. So... If they'll land in the deep grass, it's not due to rest on the uh, tee, you know, on the green. And, you know, we said a few things, and it was kind of cool because you end up talking as if your dad's really there. And then, bro, we let it go, and I'm not even kidding you. It was like, I'm not saying it wasn't windy anyway, and all of a, but there was a gust of wind, and as soon as I threw him, it just swirled up above the course, and it was gone, you know? And, uh, oh. you know, I'm not, listen, I'm not, I'm not saying that was my dad and his spirit left because, you know, I mean, there was a, a, a urn full still back at the house. So who knows what's what, but all I know is it was pretty cool, man. And if you ever get the chance to do something like that, folks, and you think it might be weird, it's not weird, man. It's an awesome way to remember somebody. It was really funny, but definitely do a little dab rub before you dump the whole thing. <laughs> 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 oh god yeah man my god bro what uh what a story man well god bless your father you yes. right he uh he will always be with us yes even uh even uh though he's not um but yeah man thanks for sharing that story and some people hearing that story I'm like oh yeah you know that, that's your dad but i mean i, I it, it what what's funny is funny you, you can't get around it even yeah. in time, even in times of sadness, we're always trying to pull, <laughs> pull it, the man. humor out of it. Right? That's it. What do you want me not to talk about him at all? It's a funny, yeah. funny story, man. Funny he, story, and his man. spirit is already gone. I believe in that anyway. Yeah. By the way, one last question, and then I'll, I'm sorry, am I cutting you off? No, no. So it was Sadie's birthday last week. Long story short, she was, you know, misbehaving, and Jackie called her an asshole. In front of a cousin on a birthday going, you're being such a little asshole. And then Jackie's like, I'm the worst parent, da-da-da. Now, I'm telling her, don't beat yourself up. I think it's great parenting. Uh, she she was misbehaving badly. And I feel like a uh, kid needs to learn. You're never above the day. Just because it's your birthday. I remember Christmas morning. Christmas morning, right before I opened my gifts, I was not, I was like being rude to my brother and sister and my father, I was eight years old, sent me to my room Christmas morning. I'm like, what the fuck? My gifts from Santa are under the tree and I'm sitting in my room. 
for like a half hour, and then you can come out and open them now. I'm like, holy shit. So what's your take, man? A little a little rough calling your kid an asshole? She never has uh, before. Yeah, no, I, I don't know if I would use the word asshole and <laughs> I mean she's not a she's not a dock worker, you know. <laughs> hey. You assholes want to get in there. <laughs> no, you're right, but yeah, it's amazing, man. By eight years old, the kid's got a good grasp of what an asshole is. <laughs> it's such a perfect word. You're not being oh, a jerk. A, no. You're not being goofy. You're being an asshole. I Listen, I, I totally understand the word, the strength of the word, and the meaning. <laughs> I, 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 You're not arguing I, that. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying, maybe we wait till 15. <laughs> <laughs> right, maybe, maybe we wait till she can actually open a can of tuna fish on her own before we actually start using words like that. Well, uh, it's funny because I did something last night. I think I pulled a Pete last night without <laughs> even knowing it. You know, Serafina's been testing my nerves over the last three or four weeks. You know, we're yeah. starting to get into this, uh, you know, and here. <laughs> it's from the other kids. She's seeing how other kids behave, and she's aping that behavior. Yeah. So yeah. The, work I, the work I've been doing and the work Lana's been doing at the house up until now is being, being tested by other kids. Absolutely. Right? Yep. This, this is why I, I would advocate the kids don't see any kids until they go to high school. This way, they, 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 they're not influenced by any other behaviors, right? Absolutely. So, you know, I'm getting like, you know, I'll ask a question. I don't know if you've gone through this stage or, or if this is specific to Serafina. I'll go, Serafina, does that, and she's playing with something. I said, does the, does the crane come down and hit the car? And I don't get a response, right? Because she's playing, right? I go, Serafina, does the, and I go, Serafina, and I get in her face. I go, when I'm talking to you, you answer your father, right? She goes, no, daddy, you didn't. Okay. So stuff like that, you know, like, come here, it's time to eat. And she don't come, you yeah, know, getting yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> And no, for, you're scaring me. I, I mean, I'm like, I'd give you the crane or what the fuck. It, what do you want to know, Dad? You're very intimidating. You played a gangster with De Niro, guy. Tone it down. You're scaring the kid. But I'm not. I'm not at all in any way, shape, or form. I never yell at Serafina. I've never hit Serafina. I've always been very diplomatic in my disciplining. Yeah. I often take her to the side and I'll say, hey, listen, we do not do that in this house. What we do is you address, you know, because she's, her and her brother, Caruso, they got this thing that they're doing. They're, they're calling everybody caca. It's, it's like, and, it, and I found out they got this from one of, the, one of the students or the kids that comes over to the house. Yeah. And, and I found out the mother taught the kid that, and then the kid, the kids, you know, I, and I go, the mother taught the kid? So anyway, I got, I got upset with that. I hear you, anyway. I hear you, man. <laughs> anyway. I love it. <laughs> Lana, we're in the bathtub last night. I, I'm giving her a bath, and, and Lana's um, with Caruso. We already took him out. So I'm outside the bathtub, and Serafina's in the bath, and you know, the bath was over. You know, but she was still hanging in in the, in the bathtub. Yeah. But she's laying down in the bathtub. Having a good time. Yeah, but it's over. It's time to dry <laughs> off. <laughs> so she's like singing in the bathtub. I go, okay, so if you know, time to get out. You know, she's still singing, looking at me, attesting me. Time to get out. So I pull this one. I go, I've never raised my voice at her at all. I go, I want to see. What type of reaction I get if I yell at her? So I don't know where I go. Get out of the tub! <laughs> so she, she looks. She looks up at me, and she cracks a little smile. Right, but I don't crack. Right, I just stare at her, and then she realized this is serious. She start crying, yeah. and I'm like, "Um." Oh. And, and then Lana comes in. She goes, "What the f fuck are you doing?" Yup, yup. I go, 
I go, who's the test? It was the test. I wanted to see if a real high volume would have got her out of the. <laughs> didn't, didn't work, bro. Didn't work. All right. She's crying, ball. So then I had to come. Up. Baby, I was kidding. Uh, I was kidding. Right? Uh, I gotta tell you. Yeah. I think it did work. Cause this morning it was a whole different attitude. Seraphina, come here. Time for breakfast. Yes, daddy. I think she saw a glimpse of like, oh, that's yeah. where it could go. That's, yes, <laughs> man. Yes. And it's, I love it. That's good parenting. And I, listen, it's, uh, go ahead. It, it, I, same sort of thing with me when it started out. I yell, kid cries, wife yells at me for making kid cry. And I'm the bad guy. But, you yeah. know, after a while, like now with Sadie, when I get really pissed, I go, and I like do that half come towards her, and she knows the deal. Now with you, you just make the face that you make right before you yell, and Seraphine is going to know. It had to be done. Had to be done. She needed to see another side. Uh. That That's where that could go. And I got to tell you this morning, I didn't even tell Lana this, because she, Lana's going to she's gonna say, yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's because you did that last night. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you, you know, it's been a difference. There's been a change in the guard ever since the bathtub yell out, right? right. So I want to see what's going on the rest of the day to see Beautiful. if there's any. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it should be a chapter in a book of parenting, bro. Uh, by the by the time your daughter's 16 and she's out with a bunch of kids. And they're all about to do bad thing. And all kid, everyone's going, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's going to get to your daughter. And she's going to go, I'm out because my dad will kill me. Yeah. Boom. Job done. Job done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. That must have been jarring, man, for you to do that. Gosh, oh, you, you, got a, you, you got a deep, loud. It's like everyone like, uh, listening the other day was trying to track down. They always still talk about it when you told a lady to shut the fuck up on the plane, man. You know? You, you, take a walk. Take, yeah, take a, yeah. Take a walk. <laughs> no, it's, this, thing, this thing came out of nowhere, and I was surprised how loud I was. Like, I yelled. You ever, you ever yell and go, man, I... I didn't. I didn't plan on it coming out that way, and it came out. It came out clear, and it. I, I meant business, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what that that's gonna do the rest of the week. I got. Um, uh, we had Caruso's birthday party at the beach a couple days ago, right? We invited a couple families to the beach. Let me get your take on this. I'm. A, I'm not a beach guy. The sand, the whole thing bothers me. Food at the beach, it's, you know, the, the kids, you know, Caruso's eating sand. It, it, it's just, you know, you get in a car, you might as well build a sand castle by the time you're done. The, the, the amount of sand that's falling out of the, the no, kid's shorts. Yeah. <laughs> what, did you do your thing where you got the person set it all up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you listen we, we planned this the, the the night before Lana and I like what are we gonna do for Caruso's birthday I mean we had his birthday party but like for his actual day yeah uh, uh, she's like let's go to the beach and uh, she's like contact that, that beach now group and beach now after we did this uh, podcast they heard the podcast and reached out to me and said, thank you so much for, for mentioning us on your podcast. Uh, you really helped uh, get drum up some business, what have you. Let me know the next time you, you guys want to come out. I'll take care of it. So I called him up. I said, listen, uh, you know, we want to come out to the beach tomorrow. And she's like, listen, we typically don't work on Tuesdays, but for you, we'll set it up, right? R really sweet. Nice. Right. So um, sets up a beautiful setup. And as I'm talking to her, she goes, thank you so much for talking about us on the podcast. She goes, it was like, it's like an infomercial. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get the concept, you yeah. know, of like half of the struggle going to the beach is bringing everything and we yeah. bring everything. So they right, had right. it all lined up. The whole thing was beautiful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But here's the thing. <sighs> I don't know if this is white trash or not, but we did it. 
it was about 92 degrees and the type of degree where the sand is boiling, you know, like where you got to run into the water yeah, because yeah. you burn your feet off. It's a good beach day, man. Good Love beach it. day, not too many people, and Serafina's got to go to the bathroom. Uh, number two. Number one, but she's not going into the water. She's not like, what? she's not. She she's going into the water a little bit, but you got to go really far out because the the you, you'd have to walk I'd say a hundred yards in order for Serafina to to go underneath. You know you she go. she just she might as well piss in her pants on the oh, sand. Wait wait wait. You know, she, she doesn't have a bathing suit on. Yeah, she got a bathing suit on. So what's the problem? You, you literally just pour a bucket of water on her standing there and tell her to pee as I'm pouring. I mean, oh, I, I, I didn't even think of that, uh, uh, dude. She, if a if a child has to pee and they're in a bathing suit, it, th th this is like just, a non-issue. Right? Just go for a walk, I, pee, piss. bro. I just started pissing in my pants in a pool or uh, or an ocean when I was 43. What? I was the guy? Yeah, I got on. Bro, when I was a kid, I had a piss. I got out of the water and I ran into the bathroom. <laughs> wet. Bro, I if I have to pee on my way to the to the to the into the water and I'm passing the bathroom, I'll hold it in just to pee in the ocean because it's more pleasurable <laughs> than that nasty bathroom. You ever go in there barefoot and it's all wet and slippery and you, that's 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 when you know you're getting a fungus. But peeing <laughs> in the ocean. <clears throat> The, the, the bathroom is for shitting. If anyone's going into the bathroom, in my head, I'm like, they must be dumping. You know what? <clears throat> I was traumatized as a kid because my my parents told me, you know, piss in the pool. Right? We're not on a molly. No, no, not a pool. Go, go. Ocean. Ocean and lake. Well, a lot of kids piss in the pool. Yeah, no, that's, that, you know, that, no, that's no good. You don't do that. I'm just saying, any natural body of water, ocean, lake, stream, river, a hard rain. <laughs> 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 what did we do with Serafina to walk this poor girl all the way no, up? No, no. She's like, I got to go. And, I, and, I, and she squatted down in her bathing suit on the sand, and she just she the, went. That that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. I was looking at it and I go, oh, this might be white trash. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, that's, no, come on. That's totally acceptable behavior, man. Oh, man. So, so yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time out good. there. Beautiful. Uh, for Crusoe's second birthday. What uh, the sharks and, though? Like, I mean, is it is it different than we were kids? Now it's it seems, or is it just the news? But it seems to me, when you swim in an ocean now, there's more of a concern. Uh, uh, like about uh, we would joke about sharks, but we were joking. Now it's like, watch for sharks. What? What? I'm not even going in. I I don't get it. Is it is it worse now? Do you think? I know you're no know marine I, biologist, but... I don't know, but I have to tell you, we were kind of like right where the sand meets the water, and we saw a dolphin about 50 yards away, like close, just yeah. going like this, going like this, and I'm sitting there going, if the dolphin is this close... <laughs> <laughs> Like I want to know from a marine biologist if it does does the dolphin go over that close to the shore and the shark swimming by and go, what the fuck is he doing? Over? Let me go check it out. Absolutely, I'm right there who are you, right? So, so if you see a dolphin close, my question is: Is a shark that far behind? I would think not, man, right? I mean, dolphin is a uh, shark food, so isn't it? Is it? I, no, I, no I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think sharks eat dolphins. Too bad. Really? Oh, really? I didn't know that. All right, but bottom line, if a dolphin can make its way comfortably through this kind of shallow water, I'm assuming a shark can too, so I'm going to get out, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. If a dolphin's in the... Vo I'm sorry. I know they, oh, they're friendly. I have a feeling that I'm going to meet the one that's not. Right. You know, like like right. went off the like the the the, the, the the dolphin that had a, a, a problem during birth. Right. Something mental. I don't know. That, that he's attacking people. Just, just so. charge you and cave in your <laughs> chest with its nose, right? Just boom. <laughs> no one's ever seen it before. They're dragging you out with a hole in your chest. 
<laughs> he got stabbed by a dolphin. <laughs> Holy shit. I'd be like, what the hell happened? We never, <laughs> never seen anything. He got harpooned by a dolphin. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, oh. right, right to the chest plate. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God, listen, I got to go do this uh, voiceover, man. Yeah. Good hang, man. This was uh, this was one of those fun ones, man. Absolutely. This was like the, I don't know where the time went. Uh, thanks for listening to the Pete and Sebastian Show. We will be back next week, hopefully, with some more <laughs> foot stories. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Later, bro. Take care, man. 